coast. We're going to call the special downtown design review committee meeting to order. Uh, the meeting is in compliance with the open meeting law. Yes. Chair Sinister. Present. Member Schlotman. Present. Member Hayes. Member Nolan. Here. Member Abramo. Member Beck. Here. Member Bratcher. Here. Thank you. Okay. Um, show that we do have a quorum with the excused analysis. Uh, now we go to the first public comment section during this portion of the agenda. Must be limited and matters must be limited to things on for action on the agenda. If you wish to speak, please give your name. If anybody wish to speak during this portion, seeing none, close that. Uh, item 4, ARC 44067, DDRC, public hearing applicant, WRL Architects, owner, City of Las Vegas, for possible action on a request for signage design review for a proposed master sign plan for museum at 300 Stewart Avenue. I think we would like to approach this uh, similar to how we did the, the last application with kind of go facade by facade so we can discuss the, the various uh, signs. Um, before I begin, I just wanted to note that this uh, master sign plan was reviewed by the HPC, the Historic Preservation Commission, on uh, uh, September 22nd and approved and also at the uh, January 10th um, 2012 Planning Commission and approved there as well. So I just wanted to note that for the record. Um, as we go facade by facade, there will be uh, some deviations that will be noted which can be approved by the DDRC Commission. So if you would like to uh, turn to, uh, in the uh, staff report, in the backup to the south elevation, which is the front elevation. It's sheet two. There are a total of six freestanding signs, which are uh, numbered two, three, and six through nine. Um, those signs exceed the maximum height uh, limit for the for what is allowable for the CV, um, and also the exceed the total number of signs. Um, and signs six through nine do not meet the minimum setback. There are a total of three wall signs, which uh, are numbered one and four through five. Those also exceed the maximum number of allowable signs and area. And there are six window signs, 13 through 18, which exceed the maximum number. Um, for all of these deviations, staff recommended approval because it met the uh, requirements of the uh, centennial plan as well as the scenic byway. So I just wanted to note that before we continue. Um, for the east elevation, there is one wall sign, and that sign exceeds the maximum allowable area. On the um, next sheet, we have the north elevation, one wall sign. Uh, that one meets the requirements. And on the next page for the west elevation, there is one wall sign which exceeds the max area. But again, all of these deviations can be um, approved by the DDRC. When you say these exceed the area, what? The square foot. The, the allowable square foot area. Because they're the entire sign measure, it's not really the individual letter. Right, right it's, the enti it's the size of the entire sign, correct. What is, uh, just a, a question, what is lit? I, I thought, when I read all this last night, I thought there was, are some of the pole signs like six, seven, yes. eight, mm -hmm. nine, are those lit? Let me just read. You know what? I read that last. Um, yes, wall sign 10 on the north elevation. Oh, nope, excuse me. I'm sorry. I just saw that one. Not that one. The freestanding signs two and three on the south side. Yeah, right, are, are uh, internal and backlit. Two and three are okay. Right. Is the, is the, is, this has nothing to do with this. Is the building lit? There is some lighting on the facade. Um, yeah, there's, uh, actually, Sam, if you could come up yeah. to the table and just give your, name. give your name for the record. 
Sam Tolman, uh, architecture project manager for Public Works, representing the applicant. Three 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 North Financial. The uh, to answer your question. If you look at let's look at the building elevation, the south elevation. Mm -hmm. um, there, uh, the building is. Uh, led by some, um, the landscape, not landscape, the uh, parking lot lights and the street lights, but, and also we have, if you notice, there's, on both sides of the stairs, we have the historic light fixture that's been rehabilitated. Okay. And there, it doesn't really show on here, but there are light poles all the way around the building that are designed and wired for uh, for lighting, but the financial situation didn't allow us to buy those. There was it's about half a million dollars, and that they're all eventually they will actually be able to uh, the projectors they can project light on the building, but that's mm -hmm. not what we're here for. Uh, but the, these these signs in the front are lit, and uh, there are uh, they don't show up on this, but there's the the acorn lights, shaped lights that uh, meet the centennial standards that are along the street as well. Sam, if I can ask a question, mm -hmm. aren't signs six, seven, eight, and nine referenced as also sign type D? Don't those have light? Because they're on the street poles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that will have light focused on the building itself. Mm -hmm. yeah. The only reason, and I know that's not in front of us, the only reason I brought it up is because Again, we want people to pay uh, to go in, but I have a tendency, and I think other people might too, is to walk around at night and uh, enjoy things. And uh, 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 I went to the Alamo at night and took pictures because it was so cool. And then, of course, the next morning I went back and went through the Alamo. But it's just, I think that draws attention to the area even though, okay, if they take a picture of it at night, maybe they're not going to pay in the day, but if it looks really cool at night, they might make that effort to go back the next day and buy a ticket and go through it. And that's the only reason I brought it up. Yeah, the desire is to light this up, but right now we're a little short on funds. Right. Well, you can do what, uh, there, there was an oops, I guess I read, for the... Uh, uh, Empire State Building. Did you read that? Well, it, all the it's so cool when buildings are lit at night. But the Empire State Building, so they had a representative of the Giants uh, flip the switch because everybody was in San Francisco. And what they do is they uh, uh, signify uh, one of the better teams in the playoffs. So they flipped the switch for the uh, giant colors, and it came up scarlet and gold. <laughs> and it was a little bit of an oops, but what had happened was it wasn't that somebody in the building like the 49ers, it was celebrating the lunar holidays for the Chinese New Year, <laughs> red and gold. So when they flipped for the Giants, here we go, and it came up 49er colors. <laughs> Never mind, sorry. It, it's, it's amazing, not to get off track here, but yeah, with sorry. regards to building lighting, because building lighting is a signage in and of itself, and it's free signage, in, in essence, I mean, it still takes money. But we do such a great job of trying to come up with buildings in this community, but it seems like We'd rather let the hotels light up theirs and don't light up our public buildings as well as they should. I mean, they uh, lighting public buildings is the greatest thing to create safety in an urban core that there is. I mean, it keeps people away. They, it keeps undesirable issues away and um, draws attention to it. But, you know, if you look at the, the Natural History Museum in New York, you can't get past it. Some of these buildings you just go like the Alamo. What's over two blocks? I got to go see that. And that, that marketing we tend to, to miss on some of our, our ventures here. Now the building, uh, as it was being remodeled and sad, 
it had some really nice lighting around. You probably noticed that. Well, unfortunately, that was taken down to be replaced by this other that isn't in place yet, so it's somewhat of a problem. But. Well, it's unintended consequences. All right. Uh, okay, let's get back to, um, let's look at the, go ahead and take these in, in a certain order, like the uh, freestanding signs that are along the streetscape. And kind of focus on the comments there. Which I think is page two. Correct. And that also has the, the facial side, though. And this includes signs two and three and six through nine are the freestanding. And we see those on page seven. Page two on the um, south. No, I know page, on page oh, two. Sorry. Page and then I think we yeah. see those yes. freestanding on page seven. Correct. Yes. And also page 10. Okay. <coughs> I have no questions or concerns. And these are the ones that you're saying are lit? Or no? And, and uh, are two of them are lit and two of them are back there, two of them are the uh, sign type B is the one that has the internal illumination, and then the sign type D is the one that has the, which is just the banners, but it does have the building lighting. That's right. incorporated. In yeah. And the banners are changeable format. These have, right. what are they, fluorescence behind these? Is that what it is? And then they, that's what shines out? Uh, that's what it looks like to me. Yeah, it doesn't say, it just says internal backlit letter forms. Okay. Looks good. I mean, it, doesn't, it adds to the building, it doesn't take away from the historic character. So, mm -hmm. anybody's in favor of a motion? Let's see, I would be ready to move approval of the sign package subject to staff conditions. Any other comments or questions? Second? I'll second. Okay. Uh, all those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? The motion carries. And this is final action in the absence of an appeal. Correct. Okay. So we're good with those. All the conditions and everything. Yes. Okay, now we go to that portion of citizens' participation, public comment during this portion of the agenda must be limited to matters within the jurisdiction of the committee. No subject may be acted upon unless by the committee unless the subject is on the agenda. Please come forward. Seeing no one will go that and we'll adjourn the meeting.